Hello and welcome back to VBS. Today is the third day for crafts and you will have two options for what you want to make. You can choose to either make a goat like this one or a butterfly. They're both made out of one paper plate. This video is the one that you're going to use to make a goat and my sister has made one to make the butterfly. Okay, so let's begin by collecting the supplies that we need to make this craft. From your VBS bag, you'll need one paper plate, your set of paints, and your paint brushes. And then you're also going to need your glue stick, your larger googly eyes, and a piece of tissue paper. It might not be white, but mine is white. Yours could be brown or black or any other color. And then from your house, you will need a glass or jar to hold water, a ruler, something to write with, like a pen or pencil, some scissors, and you're probably going to want to need tape. Okay, do you have everything? If not, press the pause button and come back when you do. If you don't know where something is, you can always ask your parents for help. So the first step is to draw pre-lines, because we're going to need to cut. Now I'm going to show you this from above so it's easier to see. And the first step is to lightly fold the paper in half. Like this. So now you have the center line. And you're going to get out your ruler and you're going to measure about two inches from the top. Because Let's take a look at our final product. You can see that the top of the goat's head is wider than it is at the bottom. So we're going to measure about two inches from this middle line. And I'm going to make a dot right there. And then I'll make another one right here. And then at the bottom, I'll go one inch from the middle line. I'll make a dot there too on both sides. And now I'm going to connect these two dots using my ruler so it's a nice straight line. And I'll do it on the other side too. Okay. Next, we're going to, on the left side of your paper, you're going to trace around the outside of the inner circle. And then this side, you're going to use to make the horns. You guys, you see how these horns curl out? So we're going to want to have this nice curl on our horns. And then on the right side, you'll draw a triangle. The top two lines of a triangle, like this. Okay, now we're all ready to cut out our horns. So let's get our scissors. And then first, let's cut out this main head part of the goat. Now I'm going to cut around this part on the line that I drew on the outside of the inner circle. And then once you have this piece, you're going to fold it in half, like that. And then you're going to cut it right here so that we have two horns. Next, we'll go to this side, and these are the ears. So let's cut out our triangle. And we're also going to cut it in half right here, because the goat also needs two ears. Okay, now we've cut out all our pieces, and next we're going to paint. So let's think about what color you want to make your goat. You can make it any color. You can make it brown, you can make it purple. I'm going to make mine blue with some orange stripes. So I'm going to start with my main part of my head. I'm just going to put my ears and horns aside. 
So I'll get my paintbrush out and I'll dip it in the water. And then I'm gonna get it in the orange paint. So now I'm gonna get my face orange. And then notice how I'm not painting like right here because at the end of this video, you're going to glue on a beard. So I'll just keep painting like right here. While we paint, let's talk about today's theme of the day. Today's theme is Jesus' power helps us be bold. Now, since we're making goats, let's ask a question about goats. Do you think goats are bold? Hmm, I think they are. Why do I think that? I think that goats are bold because they spend a lot of their time jumping around on mountains, and they probably jump over like big gaps too to get from places to other places. And I bet that's really scary because maybe they could fall into those gaps or they could trip and hurt themselves. But the goats are really confident and they're courageous and they're very bold. And why is that? Because of Jesus's power. Jesus's power helps us to do things that are kind of scary. And once you do those scary things, maybe you'll gain a lot of experience and it won't be so hard to do other scary things too. So we should trust Jesus so he can help us do scary things. So up here, because the plate like comes up, it might be a little hard to paint. Just like hold it down with your finger and paint like that. Now I'm gonna give my goat some blue stripes. I'm going to have one on the side of its face like that, and I'll put another on the other side. And I'll even do some stripes at the top. Next, I'm going to paint my goat's ears, and those are the pieces that have like a little white space right here. I'm also going to paint them orange with blue stripes. The ears are also a little hard to paint, so you're just going to want to like lift them up a little and then paint them like that. I'll paint my other ear orange too. And I think I'll also give my ear some blue. I bet that'll look nice. Okay, now I have my two horns and I'm not gonna paint them because I just want them to be white. But if you wanna paint them, then that's fine. And you can just go ahead and do that. Now I'm done painting my goat and it's pretty much dry. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start gluing things on to my goat. But if your goat isn't dry, then just press the pause button and come back when it is, okay? If you can't really tell, just ask your parents for help. Okay, so now let's add some facial features. And again, I'm gonna show this step to you from above. So first, I'm gonna put on some eyes. And I'll also like draw a nose and a mouth. Then I'm gonna also have my beard that I'll have to glue on. So first I'll put the eyes at the top of my head. And my eyes have like a sticky part at the back of them so I can just put them on like that. But you might not have eyes that are sticky. And if that's the case, just use your glue stick and put some glue on it and then you can stick it onto your face. Next, I will draw a nose for my goat. I'll just draw it like that. It's a little nose. Now 
then I think I'll also draw a mouth. You can draw a mouth in any shape. You can draw it surprised and round, or you can draw it happy like that. And I'm going to make my goat surprised face. So I'll make his mouth round like an O. And then I'm just going to use my paintbrush and I'm going to color in my goat's nose. I think I'll make it like a brownish color, like that. And it'll be a little wet, but that's okay. I just won't touch it and I'll let it dry. And I'm gonna color in the mouth black like that. Okay, now I'm ready to glue on my goat's beard. I'm going to lie it on like that and then I'll hold it there, and I'm also going to flip over the goat at the same time. Then, let's wrap this around, like that. And then we'll put some glue on both sides. Right here, and over here too. And this is where, like, a piece of cardboard or like newspaper or even a grocery bag comes in handy so you don't get glue on your table because that won't be good. So I'll put this on and I'll just hold it there a little while I wait for the glue to dry. I think it's all good now. And then I'll add some texture to my goat's beard. And you can do this by like cutting it a little with your scissors. There we go. Yeah. Oh, my goat's got a nice little beard. And now I'm going to put all of my goat together. So you're going to get your horns right here and your ears. So first, let's get out our horns and we're going to attach them at the top of the head. And I'm going to use um, tape to do this because it's a lot easier. So I'll just get my tape. piece like that, and I'll just tape it down. Okay. And you might not have tape, if you just have glue, you can like, you'll have to fold this a little and flatten it, and then you can like, get it where you want it. And then we'll put some glue on the area where it's flat. And maybe some on the plate too. We'll flatten it again and just put it on. Okay, great. Now since I have my ears ready to go, I'm going to flip over the goat. You're gonna put it on its back now. And then I want to put them like, so before we do that, let's think about how we want them. I want my ears to be like this, and like this blue part can be the inside of the ear. But I don't really want them on the front, because then they'd be blocking the eyes. So I'll put them in the back, and then they won't be. So then we'll flip them over, and we'll put them like that. And now I'll take my tape. And I'll just put it on like this. And you might need two pieces to make it stay well. And 
And if you have tape, you can go ahead and do that on this ear too. But in case you don't, I'll show you how to do it with glue as well. Again, we're gonna flatten it right here. And then we're gonna get some glue on the side that we're gluing down. So that's like right here. And then I'll also put some on the head so it can stay better. There we go. And now let's flatten this again and then put it on. And now my goat is all finished. Here's what he looks like. I hope you had fun making a goat with me. See you tomorrow on our last arts and craft rotation. Bye!